My name is Reiko Krüger. I lead the Translational Neuroscience Research Group at the Luxembourg Center for Systems Biomedicine of the University of Luxembourg. I'm working as a director of Transversal Translational Medicine at the Luxembourg Institute of Health, and I'm also a neurologist at the Centre Hospitalier in Luxembourg. I'm Ibrahim Bussard, a scientist at the Luxembourg Center of Systems Biomedicine of the University of Luxembourg. We are proud to receive an FNR award for outstanding scientific achievement for the first proof of concept of precision medicine in the field of neurodegenerative diseases. We work on Parkinson's disease, the most common neurodegenerative movement disorder with well-known motor features. Current treatment for Parkinson's only relieves symptoms. Unfortunately, they cannot yet treat the cause of the disease and cannot therefore stop the premature aging and progressive loss of nerve cells. Today, it is well established that there is not only one Parkinson's disease, but different subgroups of patients that could benefit from more targeted therapies. That is what we call precision medicine, an approach that is already well established for cancer therapy, but not for neurodegenerative diseases. We focused on a rare familial form of Parkinson's disease that affects a small subgroup of patients with a mutation in a specific gene as prototypes for the more common sporadic form of the disease. And we identified a potential targeted therapy for such patients. And for the first time, a therapy that also treats the cause of Parkinson's disease. In the lab, we looked at cells donated by a patient and his family members, and we discovered a novel molecular defect that is caused by the mutation. We then screened a large library of chemical compounds and found a combination of one already approved drug and one other compound that together repair the defect in patient cells. So we proved the concept that this combination could work as a targeted therapy for patients with this particular genetic defect. Together with our research partners around the world, we analyzed thousands of genetic data and showed that mutations causing the same genetic defect are significantly more common in Parkinson's patients than in healthy controls. So it means that the potential treatment we identified for a rare form of Parkinson's disease could actually help many more patients in the future. We are now continuing this research, aiming for a licensing agreement with an industrial partner for a targeted therapy. Over the past seven years, we have set up a unique robotic platform in our lab for automated cell culture and drug screening on cellular disease models. This is now an established pipeline for what we call translational medicine. With the help of patients, we turn fundamental and clinical research discoveries into technologies and therapies that can be applied in clinical practice and improve human health.